covering Donald Trump has been one of the most extraordinary experiences I've had in 30 years of journalism. It's been an enormous challenge. Uh, it's been enormously exciting. Uh, and it's been quite difficult in lots of ways. Uh, he is an extraordinary president. He's one out of the box. Um, he's very, very original in almost everything he does. The coverage of him, though, in America is very polarised. For me, as a journalist coming from Australia, I've tried to interpret Trump through Australian eyes. I've tried to be very fair to him. I've tried to take the issues um, as they come. But at the same time, uh, you know, that's been my challenge. Uh, it's been enormously rewarding and enormously hard work. But I think he is a unique president and you've got to cover him very carefully and very comprehensively. The submarine leak story was uh, a really unusual story to write. We found 22,500 confidential documents that had been leaked from the French shipbuilder DCNS, which is the company that is going to design Australia's new submarine fleet. Even though I wrote it from Melbourne, it, it went global very quickly because it involved the uh, major security breach, breach by the French. And of course, the French were, were mortified by, by the disclosure of this. It was front page news in, in Le Monde, um, in Paris. And the Indians, of course, were more mortified because it was their submarine fleet that the secrets were relating to. The thing about the submarine leak story is that I think there hasn't been enough media scrutiny on the details behind uh, the submarine project. It's a $50 billion project. It's the biggest investment in Australia's history. I was um, pleased to be able to shine a light on a, on, on a dark area uh, and hopefully that, that the outcome of that was for the better public good in Australia.